Good day, everyone. Today, there are three articles that I just want to tell you basically what the gist is of these articles. It's got to do with South Africa's finances. And a lot of people might feel concerned about the financial situation in our country. And what I want to tell people is that our country cannot collapse. Our government absolutely can and they are panicking right now because they are running out of money. And the only way for them to curb the spending in the country is to curb the size and the spending in government. And in the first uh, headline in Daily Invest, it says South Africa heading for disaster. And this is the former statistician general of South Africa, Pali Lohla, warning that the country is heading for disaster and that there is no end in sight. So he was speaking uh, at a meeting and he said there is something far more fundamental that must happen at the SOEs, the state-owned entities, than just throwing money at them, he said, at the current rate and with the current architecture of conception of the state-owned enterprises, there is something fundamentally wrong. Uh, he said many politicians like the word state-owned in enterprises, but what it takes to run these institutions is a far cry from what is happening. Lohla said that compared to countries that have properly run SOEs and national development programs, South Africa is a joke. He added that South Africa has very weak leaders. We have people in positions of leadership, but it is a misnomer to call them leaders, he said. Uh, the government has leftist policies, but often reverts to right-leaning economic decisions, which creates a mess. The leadership is bankrupt intellectually as it relates to how economic policies should work together to create a desired outcome he said he said the government's master plans recovery and reconstruction plans and development models are not technically competent and this is why i say that the government has to collapse the way they are continuing now um, if they don't do drastic changes the government will collapse uh, completely and we'll have to reform. We would have to create a new governance system. And going on to the next article, um, it says here, South Africa risks running out of money by March. And uh, this is from Business Tech. The previous article uh, was from the Daily Investor. And uh, then the government may dip into reserve funds. And this is from Times Live where it says Finance Minister Enoch Gondwana could end at the government possibly drawing from a $459 billion special reserve account to augment revenue shortfalls when he delivers the medium term budget policy statement on Wednesday. So Wednesday we can look forward to what the Finance Minister has in store for South Africa. And from Business Tech, South Africa risks running out of money by March. Finance Minister Enoch Gondwana has warned of tough decisions come the medium-term budget policy statement on Wednesday, adding that there is a risk that the government will run out of money if no action is taken. I'll give you the link to all three of these articles so you can look at them. I just want to tell you that there is hope. It's a system that is the problem. We need to change the system so we can hold the leaders that we elect as our representatives to account because that is currently not the case. And people have actually argued with me on Twitter, or X as it's called now, and said that the parliament is there to hold the president to account that if we directly elect our president, vote for the president, as we all should have a right to do, which we quite currently don't have, then uh, we will not be able to hold that president to account. This is absolute nonsense. Uh, you can just vote someone else in the next time and you can still have mechanisms in place. So uh, people will fight hand tooth and nail to keep the status quo because a lot of people are earning a lot of money. There's many people making big business out of government at the moment when that money should be spent on us, the citizens of the country. So thanks for watching this video. Please share it with your friends and family and just know that there is hope.